Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday School at BCPC. It's Mr. Al here, and we're going to do some singing, and we're going to have some stories, and just all do all the fun things that we usually do. I'm hoping that one day we'll all be back together again in person, and this will be a lot more fun then. But anyway, this is the best we can do for now, is doing it by video. But I'm really glad that you're here with me this morning. So let's do a little singing. How about this song? Y'all all know this. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got DC, PC in his hands. He's got DC. In his hands, he's got DCPC. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the threes and the fours in his hand. He got the threes and the fours in his hands. He's got the threes and the fours in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got everybody in his hands he's got everybody in his hands he's got everybody in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands well we had a new song we worked on a little bit last time it, it was called i've got peace like a river you remember working on that one we, we worked on that, and it had some motions in it. Well, we're going to do that again. And uh, I'm going to play the guitar and sing and do the motions all at the same time. Actually, I'm going to use the Internet to help me with the guitar playing while I do the motions. Now, do you remember? The first one is, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Hands on your heart. So that's the first one. The second one is I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. And the last one is, I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. So I'm going to do the, the motions, and y'all can kind of watch along and play along with me and see if you can do the motions too. And I'll use the internet to do the guitar playing. So here we go. I hope this is going to work. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. Well, I think that worked. I think maybe that was a little bit too fast. I, if we're going to do that again, I think I'm going to have to do it a little slower. <laughs> but I hope you were able to keep up with me, and we'll work on that some more next time. How about that? But that's some singing, and we'll do some more singing later. But next, I want to tell you a little story. So our story today is about 
one of the things that happens in the Bible, and that is that sometimes God comes down and asks people to do something for him, to help him out. And sometimes when he does that, the people say, oh yeah, God, I really would like to help you with that, and I'll go and do the things that you asked me to do. But other times, the people say, oh, I don't know about this. I'm not sure I really want to do that. And we're going to read a story today about a man named Jonah. And when God came down and asked him to do something, he ran away and tried to hide from God, and he got in a lot of trouble. So let's talk about that. So one day, there was a man named Jonah, and here he is. There's Jonah. And God came down and told Jonah, he said, Jonah, you're a pretty good preacher. I need you to go to the city of Nineveh because the people in the city of Nineveh are doing really bad things, and you need to go to tell them to quit doing bad things and start doing good things. Well, for some reason, Jonah didn't want to do that. I'm not exactly sure what his problem was, but he really thought maybe he would go do something else. He was going to run away from God, and so Jonah went, and he got on a boat, and he started sailing across the sea because he was trying to run away from God. But then on the sea, a storm came up and the wind blew and the waves got really big and the thunder and the lightning crashed and Jonah was really afraid and he said to the people on the boat, he said, this is all happening because I tried to run away from God. And Jonah jumped into the ocean. And there he is. Jonah jumped into the ocean with the fish. And when he did that, the storm stopped and everybody on the boat was okay. But Jonah, he was down in the ocean and he might have drowned. But God sent a big fish like this, and the fish swallowed up Jonah, just swallowed up, just ate him right up. And so Jonah was inside the big fish, and it was really dark, and he didn't like it in there. And so he prayed to God, and he said to God, I am so sorry that I tried to run away from you and didn't do the thing that you wanted me to do. So if you will save me, I will go to Nineveh and do what you want me to do. And the big fish swam over to the beach and he spit Jonah right up on the sand. And Jonah said, whoa, boy, I'm glad to be out of that fish. I think I'll go to Nineveh and do what God told me to do. So Jonah prayed to God. There he is. He's praying to God. And the big fish Spit Jonah up. Look at him. He spit him right on the beach. Spit Jonah right out on the beach. And God said, okay, go to Nineveh and do what I told you to do. Tell the people there that they're being bad and they need to be good. So there it is. Jonah went to Nineveh and he talked to the people and he said, y'all are doing bad stuff and God wants you to be good. And they said, you know, you're right. We have not been very good people at all, and we've not been doing the things that God wants us to do. So we're going to change, and we're going to become good people like God wants us to be and like you told us we should be. And that's the story of Jonah, the man who tried to run away from God and ended up inside of a big fish and then ended up doing what God told him to do. Now, luckily for us, we're not likely to get swallowed up by a big fish, but we do need to think about the things that God wants us to do, the important things. God wants us to love other people. 
He wants us to share our things with our friends. He wants us to be happy. And he wants us not to be sad and not to cry. So just think about all those nice things that the world would be a better place if we all did the things that God wants us to do. So we're going to do one of our favorite songs. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. So, let's have a little prayer together. Dear God, we pray to you to help us to be better people and to do the things that you want us to do. Help us to be happy and safe and help us to love other people, and help us to share our things like we should. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so, I will see you again in about three weeks, and we'll talk some more. It's so good that you were able to join me this morning, and I'm looking forward to our next time together. Bye-bye, everybody.